good point. So now, Tim, I want to I want you to think about this. Let's say I am the CEO and you are the PMO consultant and you're proposing this entire framework which looks too complicated for me. But there are some of the senior management are saying, mm, boss, why not you try it out? It looks like it's going to be very helpful for the business. And then I was like doubtful and I'm saying, we have done all of this. We have done with so many consultants and uh, you know, they are, I mean, their approach is like pretty bad. I don't get any success, right? So I'm not sure how this, your PMO organization is going to help me. All right. And that's why you propose uh, POC to me. Yeah. And uh, my question to you is this. What do I get at the end of the POC? The business, the rest of the business. <laughs> One of them confidence. is? Confidence. Confidence of the stakeholders. I like that, yeah. yeah. For the yeah. Sense of not just me, you know, all the stakeholders, yeah. right? Good yeah. one, good one, Prasad. What else? You build the confidence. That's intangible. Yeah. Mm. What else? You mentioned about uh, uh, monetary uh, thing, right? Money, yeah. yeah. The yeah. cost. Funding. Yeah. What else? Yeah, I think also what, what you try to do is you, you, try to, you try to make it small so you can pivot at the new your in initial investment will, will be very small but if you see a proof of concept and then you can mm. pivot it and add more resources but then you have a then you have a solid case yeah that means you are able to demonstrate your roi right precisely good point good point what else I think, uh, understanding of the organization because as i said there's no one you know template that kind of fits all you really have to have a really good understanding of what that organization looks like like that's your learning Learning point, right? So from a yeah. POC, you can mm -hmm. gather all of this so that you can implement and improve on the subsequent uh, phases as well. Yeah. Good on Apollo. What else? So many of them. Credibility and support. Feasibility. Credibility and support. Cre oh, the, 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 yeah. Cre yeah. Credibility and support from, uh, from key stakeholders. senior management and key stakeholders as well. And the other one, um, you are diminishing your um, negative stakeholders, right? Those who uh, maybe initially they resisted or whatever, they, they will start, uh, or at least not all, some of them, they are, they are, yeah, their noise will be reduced. What else? What else? Give me three more. Reduce the risks. Minimize, yeah. Mitigate and reduce the risk as well, yeah, of your implementation. Good one. And I think reduce the, the sorry, sorry. Are you reduce the fear of failure, right? That oh, oh nice, nice, nice. Yeah, reduce the fear of failure as well. Good point. Good point. Nice. Yeah, so One more. Talk about the lessons learned, like uh, the lessons learned from the POC. Basically, you can, can did we did we talk about this? The learning. Yeah, not yet. Yeah, lessons learned. Yeah. yeah. So that's part of it. It also improves the uh, what you call your team's morale as well, right? They'll be more confident. It's not like they're waiting for one year for success. So you already have a quick success, right, for your team members. So it helps in your team bonding, team building as well. Yeah, you right? can so, have, uh, yes. Buy-in, yeah. Buy-in, yeah. Buy 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 most important, yeah. because they are the one who have to trust your decisions and your direction. So I think at the end of the All day, right. they have to trust you. Absolutely, good one. You yeah, mentioned something. Early field work about the the whole the, a whole project of PUC. The early yeah. feedback. Mm -hmm. So you feedback. can identify in early feedback someone will be poor, for and against, and with someone on, will give a criti uh, criticize the, the 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 project and give you right. opportunity yes to avoid such. Uh, uh, and prepare a response to that before going to get an approval of the. Good point, good point. Missy? Um, you could also have a more defined implementation plan. So you've uh, you know, kind of mm. gone through the concept and assessed where you are, um, what you've accomplished during this, and then you've you know, you know evaluated your roadmap so you mm. can have a more definitive implementation plan and, and create more um realistic milestones so you know with, when, during your roadmap you were like oh in six months we're going to do this and 12 months we're going to do that we'll be able to refine that and create a more de definitive implementation plan good point good point 
and uh, also looks uh, look at it this way. Remember one of the deadline management technique, you know, the difference between a deadline and a milestone. And yeah, also, so, just I can add the one. Uh, uh, sure. Inside, uh, when you work, uh, when you start uh, working on the POC, you also mm -hmm. uh, have expectation, uh, identify the, such documentation, not uh, that you can prepare for the community after. Yes, mm -hmm. it's, it's a part of the cost, but you should be uh, able to identify which process, which template, all of this. Right. Yeah. Maybe yeah. and adapt them uh, with the organization objectives. Right. And then yeah, expand and you know from there, from there onwards. Yeah, good point, good point. So yeah, there's a lot of benefits of the POC team. Yeah. So